Sam and consolidated elementary school in the sixth grade. I'm a part of the Sam. I'm a part of the 4-H Short Blazers Club. Tonight, my public presentation is on instruments, musical instruments, and different families that you belong to. My first family is the brass family. It can it consists of many, but I only have on my board the sousaphone, the tuba, the bugle, the trombone, the trumpet, and French horn. The sousaphone was invented by John Sousa. He and he thought that back then they really couldn't carry sousas, well, tubas in a like band, because they weren't really that strong and they couldn't go haul on a tuba for an hour, an hour and a half. So he invented this that had a bell that pointed forward, forward to project the sound. And he made it a little lighter. Some are made out of style, like plastic, and this one's made out of brass. This tuba has a bell at the top, a mouthpiece, three valves, and a water key. This is one of many bugles, but this bugle doesn't have valves, and it doesn't really have a water key. But it has the only thing it really has is a mouthpiece. The trombone doesn't have any valves, but it does have a slide that goes up and down, has a water key at the very end. It also has a big bell and a tuning slide all the way at the top. three valves like the tuba, or two water keys, one on has two water keys, one on this side, and one on this side. To release your head out this side, you will <coughs> down and just blow, and that third spit will release. The French one has keys because they're not valves that go into the instrument, they are on the side and you just press them down. And on the other side, the tuning slides right here, and then the keys are right here. But to release your spit, you will take your mouthpiece out and turn your attention counterclockwise, and usually the spit will come out. It might take two or three spins, but pretty nasty. It comes out like a waterfall. <laughs> it's cool. Um, Buzzing creates a quality sound that allows a player to control pitch. Now, if I just blew through my mouthpiece, it wouldn't make a sound. If I buzzed, it would make a sound. Still doesn't make a sound. Now, buzzing and lip, ten lip tension will make higher sounds or lower sounds. It, also, the air flow is very important. If you play a measure and you just like, and then you can't really play well. And then most instruments have valves except for the trombone and different top kinds of the bugles. Most of these are very popular in brass bands. No, jazz bands. I will play a scale for you in my trumpet. I've been playing the trumpet for four years for like either since third or fourth grade. I think it's like my favorite. <laughs> Yeah. 
their saxophone or clarinet, and then it would make a, a unique sound. The accordion, the bellows draw, the bellows are up here, they draw and push air across the reeds inside. So the reeds are sort of like around here and here. The only woodwind instrument does, that does not have a reed is the flute. It has an embouchure hole and a lip plate. I will play for you the accordion. It's pretty much the only woodwind I have besides the harmonica. Now, my, my, my mom's cousin, Mike, he gave this to me because I mom was like, you should play the accordion. I was like, no thanks. You should play the accordion. No thanks. Um, I'll get you an accordion. <laughs> <laughs> and then there, it's not battery. It's all from the air that you push in and out. So I'll do a scale. strings on it and it's sort of like the piano because it has pedals they both have pedals and um the violin which i just showed you it also has a bridge and a neck chin rest and it has four strings drum set, but the drums, there's five different kinds of drums and four, three cymbals. This is the rise cymbal, crash cymbal, and high hats. This is the snare drum, this is the high tom, and this is the medium tom. This is the four tom, this is the bass drum. And then this is the kettle drum. It's a really big, cool looking drum, and if you're wondering why there's a pedal there, if you play an F, trombone, 
you can tune your kettle drum. You just press the pedal until you understand or like the sound of what its tune is. And then the xylophone and the glockenspiel look pretty alike. But the difference between them is that these are wooden, wooden bars and these are metal bars. These handhelds are the bongos, slappers, no, they're the clappers, clappers, triangle, shakers, cowbell, tambourine, and cymbals. These are the bongos. There's some big bongos, small bongos, medium bongos, fat bongos, and yeah, I'll play the snare drum, but I really don't know how to play it. I just go with my phone. This is the tom tom. Thank you. 